Hi, this is Dr. Philip Cordova. This is my wife, Dr. Natalie Cordova, here at Core Chiropractic, Houston, Texas. We are Houston's Better Posture Chiropractors, and we are demoing today uh, Dr. Ho's Neck Comforter. So if you look at that one there, we get a lot of questions about this device. So we finally just went out and got one so we could see how it works. Uh, I would tell you that on first glance, I, I, I kind of was concerned that it was going to be more of a choking thing. So uh, I, I did try this out earlier, and I don't think that it... I didn't have that concern with it. So if you look at the, um, the box, and it's, it's there to help with uh, neck pain, headaches, poor posture, shoulder tension, compressed discs, repetitive strain, pinched nerves. I mean, it helps with a lot of things. And while I do see the benefits of this, it's, it's not a replacement for chiropractic care, uh, but I definitely have uh, home tractioning devices that we recommend for patients because uh, traction in and of itself is, is going to be helpful. So the goal or objective of this device is that it's gonna take your cervical vertebrae and it's gonna stretch it this way. Now, a similar concept is like an inversion table, right, where you're hanging upside down, and that does a great job of pulling on your lower back and maybe some into your mid back, but inversion tables I've not seen or felt even that they do much for the neck. And so that's where these kind of things will, um, will help out. So straight out of the box, we got the, the curve here, or the pillow here. Uh, my lovely assistant here is going to help me out. So I'll put that around the neck. Get you to hold on to that for a second. Mm -hmm. So it comes with a couple of straps here to hold it into place. Um, pretty easy to do. So I would try to get this as centered as possible. And then the little uh, bulb to it inflate. A little bit, yeah. So the, the thing with this is that you don't have to do, you know, the strongest possible tractioning feeling. You got You want to make sure that it's working, uh, so that you do want to feel some stretch and some pull in there. Uh, this should not cause any pain at all. Okay, so I can feel it inflating. So it gives your hand a good workout as well as you. Uh, Lots of tension yet. <laughs> Keep going. If it's not, um, it's gone. You feel it inflating? Yeah. yeah. It just takes a bit. Okay, it's getting there. Okay, I see it inflating now. Okay. You definitely want to do this more in the privacy of your own home, though, because uh, this is not something you want to walk around with. But some of the other traction devices that are out there are uh, hanging from the door, for example. So that would be a, a negative to those and a positive to this is that you can uh, walk around the house with this if you're having an issue. You can sit at your computer while you're using this. So I'm gonna keep going. Mm -hmm. okay. So tell me what you're feeling. Yeah, so I'm feeling a gentle stretch. It's mostly at the occiput where it's pushing up my skull. And so I don't feel it lower down, but I certainly do feel that. And I can also feel my jaw. So it's pull, pulling up the whole skull and I don't feel a lot of traction on the spine. But now as it continues to go, I do feel pressure going down on my shoulder. So it's pushing down, pushing up, and I am starting to get a traction okay. sensation. Mm -hmm. So when, one of the benefits is this is open here. And so I don't feel any pressure on my throat. So okay. of course you don't want that feeling. Yeah, because the picture makes it seem like like you would have more pressure right there, but yeah, that's not the the feeling at all because it is open there. Now, um, one of the things, yeah, <laughs> so it looks great. One of the uh, one of the things that you see on the the video version of this or the cartoon version on the website is not only is it going to pull this way, but it makes it seem like it's going to improve the curve of the spine this way, which I don't see how that could possibly be the case. It's definitely a great traction device. It's gonna help you know, blood flow in between the vertebrae and get into those discs as well. But a lot of that curve comes from a back motion, which this does not provide. It's definitely a very straight up um, pulling up this way. So it's using your, your skull and your jaw to pull on this side, and it's using your shoulders to pull down this side. So you are gonna get some um, relief off of that, uh, but it's to work on the back curve of your neck, it's still gonna require some adjustments, get the bones back into place, and then also um, strengthening the back of your neck uh, because you know we're spending way too much time forward. You got to get stronger back there and, and stretch back here. So as a tractioning device, I actually thought this was pretty comfortable, uh, surprisingly comfortable. I didn't think it was going to be as comfortable as it was. It did not provide any choking, and I do think you feel some tractioning to, uh, on that as well. 
Now, it would not be the strongest tractioning device I've ever seen, but most of the time that's not what you need. You don't need it to be super strong and you don't need to feel like your head's about to pop off or anything. That's, that's not the objective. You're just trying to create a little bit of tension off of there so that the, the blood flow can get in between there. And so I can see this as being a, a positive device that, that patients would enjoy and actually see a lot of benefit from. And it's reasonably priced. I mean, it's not like it's gonna be uh, crazy. We'll put a, a link below, uh, but it's, um, it's, it's definitely something that can be beneficial for you, especially if you're spending a long time at a computer. I only caution you that it's not going to fix your spine. It's not gonna take a, a bone that's misaligned and put it back into place. It's not going to strengthen things up. It serves one purpose and that is cervical traction which is a very beneficial thing uh, to help the health of your uh, discs and take a lot of pain, uh, pain relief and take pressure off that area. Uh, so it is positive for that. And for the price, it's really, um, it's not a bad way to go. And I also do like that you can move around with it. So you can walk around the house with it versus being uh, against a door or where you're, you're stuck for a long period of time. Or hanging off a bed. We've seen that type of uh, traction too. Yeah, where people are hanging off the edge of their bed. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, being able to multitask, of course, is a good thing. You can be on this, you can be on your phone, you can walk around your house, you could be cooking, you could be doing whatever, and you're still getting some traction time in. Um, how long do you think somebody should spend in one of these things per day? I would think you'd want to start small in the beginning and then build up to it. And so that's the biggest thing with a lot of things is people want to get good results fast and this is not going to be that because if you take it slowly over time you want a little bit of blood flow a little bit of blood flow and you don't want to tear things as you're tractioning things to to achieve that goal and now you set yourself backwards so mod modestly um, build up to it so that you can really get the results and then um, sustain them and that's what we're saying too is as you're getting adjusted stretching and supporting strengthening that neck you're gonna see much better results when you use it as um, a part of all the tools that you have instead of just only using this and, and trying to do you know two three hours at a time which I don't think you would but um, it, I wouldn't go too aggressive start small and then build like up five minutes yeah 15, absolutely start yeah. less five minutes or less and then and then see how you did if you did great no no issues add a couple more minutes every time and then build up so where you're doing 15 to 20 minutes right and you may not always know how you did right away it might be the next day where you're like oh wow I, I guess I, that really worked I did get sore so that's something that you'll want to keep in mind is that just do five minutes uh, see how you feel the next day and then do another five minutes, see how you feel, and then start adding time, and I think you'll see a, a big benefit. A lot of times we see with some of these devices, I'll go ahead and let you off the hook here, um, and it does release, I think, um, that uh, people just get crazy with it. So they, But they also may just fall asleep while they're using it, and that could also be an issue. So set a timer, do five minutes, uh, see how you feel, and then go from there. And the other thing, too, is if you have any um, health issues like high blood pressure, Consult your doctor first, because if you're already having compromise to your, your arteries going to your brain, don't add more traction and, and compromise it even more. So make sure this is safe for you. Great. Uh, we will continue to review different posture gadgets. Uh, this was a, a positive. We do think the cervical distraction uh, device, uh, Dr. Ho's neck comforter uh, is what it's called. And so uh, if you have any questions, feel free to message us. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks.